So, you know, we're talking about how to reorient a global leftward project from strikes and social movements to electoral strategy, pulling voices from activists, from political prisoners to opposition leaders. And, you know, at the very least, one of Donald Trump's very stupid sons is very scared. Because what he sees in the Democratic Party is not an epic struggle between a venerable aging socialist who still is 100% all there versus a, you know, as an example, of unbelievably mediocre uh, gentrifying mayor of South Bend or a an old guy that doesn't seem like he's aging as well with absolutely horrifying policy record. Um, that's not what Don Jr. sees. What Don Jr. sees something in the Democratic Party that is way more insidious than that. Check this out on Fox and Friends. She goes on to say, I pray for the president, and the president tweeted, he said, thank Talking about Pelosi. <laughs> She goes on to say, I pray for the president, and the president tweeted, he said, thanks, I know you truly mean it. Well, listen, I don't think the party of infanticide <laughs> is exactly praying for anyone. That's not what they do. Uh, we get that. They, it's just a consummate attack on American values, on, on democracy. Honestly, this election, 2020, it's about communism versus freedom. You can choose. That's the great thing about our system, but that's what it is. They want to attack anything that has to do with free markets, anything that has to do with freedom. They need government control because that's all they are. Communism right? they, or socialism? Honestly, at this point, it's, it feels like it's going beyond, right? It's just the stepping stones. We've seen this system <laughs> fail time and time again. No different than Joe Biden saying government's failed you. Meanwhile, he's been doing it for 50 years. Right. It's like socialism's going to work this time. Done. It's failed a thousand times. It's killed hundreds of millions of people. <laughs> but this time it's going to work. It's nonsense. Wow. wow. It's amazing how the, they have none of their dad's like weird charisma. They just suck. It's amazing. They have nothing. And he does it. Is it me or does it seem like he's about to like tear up or something? He, this entire interview, it's he so is weird. freaked out, man. <laughs> Put I the, will say, I was surprised when Kamala Harris published her uh, her tract on communization theory and uh, anarchism. You just plagiarizing her dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She went beyond. It's it's beyond communism, Matt. It's called the Lavender Book. I love the idea yeah. that like he's been doing government for fifty years and he still wants to do it. Therefore, Joe <laughs> Biden is a communist. Yeah, Joe, that's exactly it. That Communism looked... is when the government does things. We all know this. Man, I wish that I had the Joe Biden impression ready for that. <laughs> no it's more like, things and that's it why does. I'm a communist, folks. <laughs> and guess what? You know the way you solve that? Communism. Bless me, <laughs> Karl Marx. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bless <laughs> me. Fa oh, I'm a Maoist. That you know, if you could, if if Joe Biden is just like, what it was all of a sudden him becoming a communist, that would be awesome. That would make him a very tempting vote. It goes beyond communism and socialism, and yet this is just a stepping stone to that beyond. It but, just but makes also, no sense. Yeah, it's, it's, maybe it, he's it, listening to, uh, maybe he's checking out the, uh, the the dolphin shit. It goes beyond. Maybe but he's listening to the Antifada. The beautiful thing about our system is you can choose liberty or communism. <laughs> That's what this election comes down to. The other side wants freedom. We want to take care of the modern day version of collapse like do see like <laughs> communism or socialism like what what's going on through Ducey's mind when he asks that question? like you're fu is he thinking I think you're Ducey, an idiot Ducey, i think Ducey's Ducey's just like i've hey, got the morning talking points and you know there was a minute several years ago where i was anxious when roger finally had to leave that i wasn't going to know what to say but uh, apparently things are still just rocking and rolling that's all they got yeah and, like they think that they're going to damage bernie sanders by associating him with socialism but i think they're really doing the opposite like the more that these kinds of popular programs that Bernie's pulling for, like universal health care, tuition free college, et cetera, et cetera, are so associated with socialism, the more people are going to like socialism. I agree. And also, I will say this I don't think that this is necessarily going to pull well. I get that.